Angie from Paradigm. Buenos dias. Good morning. Bonjour. Um, coming to you with every uh, Monday's episode, uh, Did You Know? Um, and today we are, what is it? Oh my goodness, the last week of February, last few days of February actually two days to be exact. Um, wrapping up February, almost close to wrapping up our first quarter of the year. Um, so I hope that everyone out there is having a successful um, uh, first quarter of the year that you know you're you're off to the right start in making all those uh, personal and business goals happen in 2017. Um, so one of the things that I wanted to talk about today is um, you know what are those habits of successful people? So we are. Um, you know, wrapping up uh, February, we still have a very good portion of the year left. So what are some of those habits that maybe we can pick up or let go of to help us be and feel super successful? So I did some research um, and I, I read several articles from magazines like Inc. Magazine, um, Entrepreneur, um, Forbes, um, Fortune 500 uh, Magazine. So um, long story short, there is a lot of similarity in a lot of the recommendations and at the top of the list was exercising. So go figure, right? Um, but exercising definitely gets your blood pumping. It gets uh, people just, you know, especially if you do a little bit of cardio, um, it, it just kicks off your day feeling very good about yourself. And I experienced that this morning. So uh, many of you that, that know me and see me in and out every so often um, know that the last year has truly been a struggle for me. Um, I did about four or five years of really um, happy and um, you know pretty good exercising at home and uh, this last year has just really kicked my butt. So I made an executive decision and decided that I needed help. So as of this morning, I am the proud new member of my local gym. So um, if you you know need some help, need a little push, maybe that's something that you may want to check out. Um, but anyway, exercising, uh, giving yourself a pep talk was another um, top one on the on the list. So giving yourself that you know a little bit of positivity. Um, also making sure that you map out your day. Um, you know, making sure that before you, um, whether it's looking at your, you know, um, your calendar and looking at your appointments, just kind of kicking off the day with a moment of looking at what it looks like on paper or your phone or what have you, and, and just knowing, you know, where you are meant to be when. Um, Eating a healthy breakfast was very important. For me, any time that I get to um, make breakfast for my girls, it just makes me feel really good as a mom. So um, anytime they have anything other than cereal and milk, so, you know, like if I make them oatmeal or cut some fresh fruit, fruit up for them, um, it, just, it, it just makes me feel good and it actually kicks off my day also making me feel good. So uh, meditation and visualization was um, a big one. And then one of the other ones that I found that I found pretty interesting is those things that you hate to do, the ones that you dread the most, um, the recommendation was for us to do those first because um, you, know, you kind of get them out of the way and you move on to wrapping up your day on a very, very good note. Note. So those are some recommendations. Um, I will post the links to some of these articles out there so you can you guys can check them out. Um, here are my top three. Um, and you know, since we're kicking off a, a week here, um, I'm going to talk about one in particular that I really... Um, it just for me and, and you know being in business it's just very very important um, but number one on my list is just waking up uh, with a feeling of gratitude so um, you know whether it is uh, for me it's as soon as I open my eyes just taking a second or a moment to meditate and, and really um, you know express gratitude um, to the the higher power above um, 
making sure that you know we're grateful for not only waking up you know we we don't um we're not owed um you know the, the waking up in the morning um so it's making sure that we are grateful for the roof over our heads for all those things that sometimes we kind of take for granted the fact that we get to have our babies near us in the morning just to even get them ready for school the fact that they can go to school i mean you know obviously the list is ongoing but just take a moment to um express gratitude and, and um, kick it off kick off your day that way number two on my list is get up early and exercise and today was a very very good um, uh, proof of that for me I, I am an early riser um, normally I haven't been so much the last year or so but um, I'm trying to make that be um, a part of my day every morning uh, moving forward but get up early and um, whether it's you know doing some stretching yoga I mean whatever it is that you do you don't have to be you know um, running a marathon in the morning but whatever it is just take some time to get your body moving um, um, and get that blood flowing through you um, to put you in the right mood for the day. And the number three one on my list is um, especially kicking off whether it's a day at, at the office with your team or kicking off um, a work week. Uh, one of the things that I really enjoy is having kind of a, a powwow, a team meeting um, where we get to talk about our goals, um, you know, the tasks at hand. We, we kind of work on prioritizing together. Um, most importantly, we talk about challenges and, and we really try to uh, figure out out, um, and help each other out with how to overcome some of these roadblocks that we um, encounter as we are out there making it happen, living the dream. <laughs> um, so anyway, have a beautiful week. Uh, you guys stay tuned for next episode. I promise you it's going to be a super cool one uh, with our special guest. And um, in the meantime, go forth and conquer and have a beautiful and very successful rest of your week. Thank you so much for watching.